No, it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. I suffer no bondage but this rotting, weak, pathetic corpse. Look at me! <laughs> Look at this pitiful flesh I am service to. But this body is no longer mine. I have my prize. The Mortuary Assistant. So I've um, heard quite a bit about this game and I've read some, not some, but quite a bit of reviews about this game and it's supposed to be a crazy ride so here we go. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You've come Mom looks so pretty tore up. <laughs> You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No. I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things oh, about that place. It's grandma. Just Not be mom. worried people about you. Make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things Death we don't understand, and we want comfort beginning. when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take it easy. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So here. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. Take it. It should be yours anyway. It'll probably save your life. Thanks. All right. Enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. She's already been there a few weeks. All right. Bum, bum, bum. River Fields Mortuary. At least it's daylight. We like daylight. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do this, Rebecca. All right. So we got some coffee. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll leave that there. Some coffee. What to expect after death. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's business cards. Okay. Cute little office. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 
Got a little closet, little bathroom. Let's see here. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks. Zoe. P.S. Good luck. Okay, there we go. Got a pencil. Used to sign the paperwork. Left on the door. Access quick inventory and choose the item you wish to use. Most but not all places where items can be used will cause the use item icon to appear. Okay. At least it's still daylight. Okay. We've got the windows open. We will leave these closed. Okay, it's just a wall. Fence line. Rebecca. Great. Perfect timing. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key. Then walk backwards with the gurney down the hall. Okay. Let's go to stand there. Okay. Do 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 Dorothy Page. Okay. She looks pretty damn creepy. just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks. I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Hmm. Okay. Clipboard used for forms and keeping track of mortuary tasks. Large item. View the clipboard. Okay. Okay, looks like they want us to view the body. Hover the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises, and interact with them to record them to the clipboard. Okay. Okay. Um, so we got another one right there. Rotate. Hmm. Don't see anything. Ooh. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Yeah, bullshit. Oh, there we go. There's something there. No. Okay, rotate. Oh, yeah. Look at that right there. Okay. Mm hmm. Anything? Nothing. No. 
nothing. Okay. Oh, looks like something right there. Got it. Okay. Anything here? Wait, is this not? No, I don't see anything. Okay, is there more up here? Oh, okay. Rotate. We already got that. So there's six things. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, is there something there? Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. <laughs> Roger, sir, moving. Hmm. You'll die here. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. No, we heard something. You'll die here? No, oh, hell no. Mm mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. So we got. Name, okay, age, uh, okay, left leg, right there, right leg, uh, right arm, we have the left arm, and then we have the right shoulder, okay, 16, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, left shoulder. Okay. There we go. Let's set the printer. Okay, that's locked. Packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. Bum, bum, bum. Hey. Hmm. Report. Time to embalm. Time to embalm. All right. All right. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. My list? Oh, okay. Wire jaw shut. Needle injector and settings needles. Okay, okay. So we need needle injector and setting needles. Okay, this looks highlighted. Moisturizing wipes. Um, setting, okay, that's what we need. Needle injector. Okay. Okay. So that's what we got. Just sew the mouth shut. Pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull. Then twist the wires to shut the jaw. That's pretty brutal for the deceased. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not too bad. Oh, look at the mouth move. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah. 
No oh, man. Don't stand too close to the glass, Clarice. <laughs> Ooh, man. There we go. Having too much fun with this. Too much fun. All right. Inventory. Okay. Large items are held in your hands. Both hands are full. You will need to drop a large item before picking up another. Smaller items are kept in your pocket. Selecting an item will view it. Okay. Cool. Alright, what's next? Insert eye caps to keep eyes shut. Okay. Eye caps, eye caps, eye caps, eye caps. Moisturizer wipes. Nay, there we go. Eye caps. Alright. Use a manipulator to open the eyelid completely. Interact with the eye to place the cap, then close the eye. Okay. Very interesting. For any of you out there that work in a morgue, how accurate is right. this embalming? Hmm? It's kind of curious. Mixing embalming fluid and pump. Gold. Uh, I'm not even going to try to read all that. Okay. So we're going to mix that stuff in there. Okay. Formahide. Okay. Hmm. What the fuck? Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly. And it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. Okay. Motherfucker. No. That shit does not just fall on its own. Hell no. I don't know how you're acting so cool about it. And you are high out of your mind. Let's keep telling me to select inventory. Let's see. Come on. Okay. Another one. Should have one more. I think I counted four. It's only giving me four, so. Alright. Hmm. Make an incision in the current artery and jugular vein with the scalpel. So we're gonna make an incision with the scalpel. Okay, that looks like this right here. Some items need to be used directly on the body to use an item. Open quick inventory and select the item needed. Okay. Don't have any items, so let's go. Quick. Use forceps to clamp tubing to both veins and connect the involving pump. Okay. Tubing. Force clamps. Looks like the uh, artery forceps. Okay. I think we got what we need. Come on. Um, okay. Okay. That's all hooked up. Engage pump and let the body drain. Ooh. <laughs> Brody. She honestly doesn't look like she has any blood left in her. She already looks like she's been sucked up dry. Uh, I just 
wait until it comes in. Okay. Let's see. Turn off pump, remove the tubes, and close incision. Okay. Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid, then insert insert trocar into the abdominal cavity. Yeah, I'm a little spooked. I'm in here by myself right now. Oh, okay. Um, the flex bag. Okay, it's bag. It, moisturizer wipes, and that's a trocar. Okay. What? You're there. Did you guys see that? Like, someone just walked past back there. Oh my god. Is Zoe? Is Zoe here? We haven't seen Zoe. Oh, shit. Okay. Cavity fluid. Alright, let's just get this over with. Okay, supposed to insert it. Insert the trocar until it stops to begin the flow of embalming fluid. Once that cavity is full, pull the trocar back, rotate it, then reinsert until the reservoir bag is empty. Okay. There we go. Okay. We're learning how to embalm a dead body. Okay, almost done. Like one more. There we go. There we go. Sweet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you guys see that in the window? Oh, hell no. What the? What the hell? Okay, you got footsteps there. You got footsteps. Why is our teeth on footsteps? Wait. Mix cleaners and bathroom closet to create tape cleaner, then pour into the embalming pump. Oh, no wonder this is leading us to this. Hey, there's something fucking out there. Okay. okay. Alright, we got our tank cleaner. <gasps> oh my god! Oh! Hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, that gave me goosebumps. I knew I saw something. I was like, what the fuck is that? Oh my god. Mm. Mm. This shit is creepy. Dude, and you're just fucking standing there like, like nothing's wrong? Dude, you're insane. Okay, we did that. Now we're gonna apply moisturizer to face facial features. That was this right here. Okay. No, fuck no. We're leaving you closed. Okay, that's done. Facial features. Move the wipe across facial features while holding down the interact while the lotion is used up. Alright. Clean, clean, clean. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Ooh. Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. 
Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Look how he follows you. It's pretty good detail. Go ahead. It's fine. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. Oh. All right, man. Screw this place anyways. There's a bunch of crazy, creepy shit going around. Um, okay. Let's go, Rebecca. Let's get the hell out of here. I didn't hear anything, right? Okay. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even no. my fault, but it he was sent a me big home deal. right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, he just said it to get me out of the building. Oh, wait a sec, I have another call. He was kind of weird. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, well, Mr. Delver. Well, well hello, look, if Raymond. If I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new... Three new dead bodies. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You're doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit, that was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. No. There's a reason why the Thanks. other people couldn't have to take go. up like, tonight's shift. Right now. I'll talk to you later. You don't do these shifts in a morgue by yourself at Where night. Where are my keys? Damn it, Rebecca. Should have just said no. Now we gotta go and um now we gotta go and die. Got some nice jams though. But we gotta turn it off. Because you wanna send us to hell. So now we gotta go and deal with hell. So it's looking for keys. Okay, apartment, car, front door, river fields. Alright. Temporary items do not take up space in your normal inventory. Use the temporary item by directly interacting with the object that requires it. Alright. Mm, oh, look, look, look at that. Is that grandma? Yes, it is. She looks kind of familiar. Uh. He kind of looks like um, the lady from Dead Silence, that horror movie Dead Silence. Wow, what was her name? The 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 entity uh, Mary Mary Shaw. Yeah, she kind of looks like Mary Shaw. If you haven't seen Dead Silence, go freaking watch it. That was a pretty good movie. I I personally liked it a lot. So, all right, hmm. cute little apartment, but keys now on our way to hell <sighs> and it's raining what in Sam hell is wrong with you Rebecca You're dragging us to this shit
Where's Raymond at? Did he already take off? What a douchebag. Just leave her here. Leave us here all by ourselves. What a dick. Alright. Guess I'll head to the back and get started. You're freaking retarded, Rebecca. Whoa, what the hell is that? Dude. What, what is that? Do I dare? Oh, do I want to open it? Whoa. Okay. Woo, just let me open it. What the? Dude, this, it's just standing right there. <laughs> like, what the hell? There's a damn phone at. Oh. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just right try there. To stay calm. Right there. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is what? very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start. Sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. What? I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. Dude, you are you a dick. Quickly. You are I'll a just, dick. I'll just fucking oh leave. my god. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with. Okay, easier said than done. You're not even here. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? Oh shit, that thing's moving. That thing's moving. Oh my god. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along okay. and do your job. Tape recorder. This is not some hazing shit. Old key, the hall key. No, that that shit out there walking around. That is not hazing. Okay. Bathroom. Everything looks normal in here. Nothing creepy at the window. Looks like we're missing a fuse. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Nothing in the mirror. Okay. The hall key. Oh my god. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. Maybe who does something like this? You should fucking quit right now and just go home. How about that? Instead of dragging us in here on this. I swear to god that thing's standing out there right now. Alright, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. Yeah, no thanks to you. I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. 
burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. <laughs> this is insane. You're a fucking big dude. Just a professional one. Grab a body and get started. Okay, so he says we're dealing with the demon. We got to bind the demon to one of the dead bodies and then burn it. But we got to learn its name too. I'm going to I'm going to say his name anyway. It's Valak. Valak from the Conjuring. There, I said it. So, did we win? Is it over with? All right. Looks like we got a tape. anything uh, set three no oh, there we go set two okay. to banish a demon to hell it must be bound to its chosen body and burned hmm. the three objects in this cabinet are your tools first the clay tablet in the center is called a mark placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. And use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Uh, no. Easier said than done. <clears throat> the process of possession. Okay. Oops. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Okay. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Okay. 
Pit board, use some farms. Okay. At least I can keep track of things. The front desk. Okay. Oh my god. Woo! Oh, damn it, that scared me. Oh, look at that. It's on fire. Okay. Okay. Said when I was close to a marking, just to light up. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It said after that combusts that there is a marking nearby. Oh, look at that. Looks like a three. Okay. Can be used to check how far one has slipped into possession. Okay, so I got my paper and pen. You know what? Screw this. I'm calling the police. Fuck. You know what? Screw this. <laughs> I'm calling the police. Nope, phone's dead, honey. All right. Oh my God! Wait. So the light. No, nope, I'm gonna leave that on. Okay. 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 So that looks like the one of the symbols that was right on here, and it was a three-looking thing. Uh. That looks like a three, that looks like a three, that looks like a three. Okay. I'm retarded. Let's go look back at it. I don't have very great memory. Okay, so... Alright, I think we got it. I still see it in my head, I still see it in my head. Can't forget it, can't forget it. Uh, yeah, this one. First one we saw, whatever, we'll put it there. I don't know where they're supposed to go. I think I gotta grab, yep, okay. So every time a paper burns up, we can grab another one. Um, retrieve your body from cold storage. Uh, I don't wanna go into cold storage. Eight one one eight. The server's work badge for body pickup at local hospitals for access. Okay. Cover well. extra keys to the mortuary. Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low, and you mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone, Zoe. I really wish uh, Zoe was here. Limited access, okay. Oh, it's her work badge. Rebecca, Raymond asked me to take over restocking the rest of the supplies in the embalming room, but he's so secretive I feel like I get different instructions every day. Every day. Sorry if it's not what you're used to, Zoe. P.S. Could you ask him to stop calling me Zoe? No one calls me that. Uh, we're probably never gonna see you, Zoe. Oh, look at that. What is large oak key? An old key. Not sure what this belongs to. Any dead bodies? Okay. Angus, Augustus, Simone. Alright. Just say there was three bodies, so we'll start with this one first.
Oh shit. Crummy old building. <laughs> Fuck me in here. Scare the shit out of me. I don't think it's the building. But let's hurry up and get this shit over with. Okay. Alright, alright. Alright. Okay. So we gotta embalm three bodies. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yep. This guy definitely looks like fresh meat. Alright, let's check you out. Oh, okay. I don't I want these closed. Um I think I want this closed too. supposed to do okay we gotta check him out okay rotates okay there's nothing oh my god what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck hello oh my god nope nope new job I'm getting out of here No. Where are we gonna go? We gotta finish. We gotta finish. Alright, let's finish. Let's finish. Let's finish. You're dead, dude. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Okay. Oh my god. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. This is so stupid. Yeah. You're telling me. This is... Okay. Come on. Alright, nothing there. Anything? Anything? I don't see anything. Just double check, double check. Okay. Okay, we gotta find four markings. We found two already. Alright, there's another one right there. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm freaked out. <coughs> no, sorry. Damn it. Okay. Put in the system. Okay, Augustus. Age 25. What you have is right arm. Left arm right leg and then left leg okay come on come on come on hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up okay I Don't. need to file the copy up front yes yes we do all right let's have this out Nothing, huh? Okay. Uh, embalming report. Time to embalm. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. Please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. And this was the first half of the Mortuary's Assistant. Stay tuned next Friday for the second half of the game. This game is just... I can't even explain it. You will see how... Uh, jacked up this game is and the artist of the day is a band called under oath i grew up probably most of the bands that i'm naming i'm going to tell you i grew up with i probably shouldn't even be mentioning that that's just going to get annoying and redundant but the artist of the day is under oath it's a more heavier type band than the normal punk bands that i've been posting uh more like it's more hardcore i've seen these guys live a couple times they are freaking awesome live in concert so until next time we'll see you guys